Hey everyone, welcome back. This is Dan from DHTV and today I'm going to be showing you how to install and set up your new 4K third generation Apple TV. Let's get started. Now before we begin, you want to make sure that you have everything prepared so that the installation goes as smoothly as possible. So inside your Apple TV box, you should have received the Apple TV, a Siri remote, and a power cable. Now unfortunately, an HDMI cable was not included, but you can use any one you have, or if you don't have one, I'll link you in the description to one so you can pick one up for yourself. Lastly, to charge the Siri remote, you're going to need a USB-C cable. If you don't have one of those, there's a link in the description as well. Once you have everything set up, make sure that the TV or monitor has HDMI ports. Most of them these days do. So basically to start, you're going to plug in the power cable on the back of the Apple TV, like so. You're gonna plug the other end to a wall outlet. Next, your HDMI cable, you're going to plug that to the back of your Apple TV, and the other end, you're going to plug into your TV or your monitor. So now the installation is pretty much complete. You want to then turn on your Apple TV. You're going to use the Siri remote, press on that power button at the top right, and it should turn on. You'll see a small white LED light on the Apple TV turn on and you'll be brought to a page like this. And all you're gonna do at this point here is use your Siri remote to control what's going on on screen. So we're gonna press the middle button here to start, and you'll see it's gonna change and give us our options here to select our language. Now this actual button here swipes up and down, and you also have these arrow buttons that you can press as well. We're gonna start by choosing our language. For us, it's English. You're gonna choose the region you're in. Mine is already selected at the top. So we'll choose that. You can read through this data and privacy information and press continue. And now from here, you can automatically set up your Apple TV with an iPhone, which is the easiest method. Otherwise you can go down and set it up manually. We're gonna do the manual setup here just to keep things on screen. From here, you can choose to use Siri and dictation with your Apple TV. I'm gonna have it set up, so we're gonna use it. If you don't want to, select don't use. This section here is asking if you wanna share audio recordings. We're gonna say not now, I don't wanna share this information. And on this page, you're just going to select your Wi-Fi network. Now, if you have an ethernet cable plugged into your Apple TV, you may be brought to a different page. It may already be connected, but for us, we are using Wi-Fi, so you're gonna select your network, enter in the password for that network, and then click continue. It'll start activating your Apple TV and you wanna just leave it at this point. Don't unplug it or power it off or anything like that. And then you'll be brought to the Apple ID page. Now you're going to enter your Apple ID in here so that way that everything that's associated with your Apple ID will then be applied to your Apple TV as well. So enter in your Apple ID email and your password. If you don't have an Apple ID, you can skip this step for now and add it in later. When you're done, tap continue. You'll get a verification code on some of your other devices. So if you have an iPhone or an iPad, you will have to tap allow on that device. You'll get a code and you'll enter that code in on screen. And anytime the screens are loading, you definitely don't wanna unplug it or turn off your Apple TV. Now, if you've entered in your Apple ID, it's going to prompt you here to require a password when you're downloading apps and various things like that. You can choose to always require it, require it after 15 minutes of entering it in, or never require it. So we're gonna say always require for my personal preference. And now if you have a TV provider, here is where you can sign in with it. Otherwise you can select not now. I don't have that, so we're gonna choose not now. And then you're going to choose where the Apple TV is located in your house. And you'll see we have a whole bunch of options here that we can choose from. So let's go with, mine is not here, so we're gonna add a new room. And you're just gonna type it in if it's not there or select one from that list. Now this is where you can turn on location services, which allows the Apple TV and apps to use your data based on the location. You can choose to turn this on or off. Again, you can disable or enable this later in settings. I'm gonna turn it on for now. And then you have these sort of dynamic live backgrounds. So when the Apple TV goes to sleep, you'll be able to see these really nice backgrounds. I'm gonna to choose to automatically download them because I like them. And then the analytics here, you can choose to have them sent to Apple or don't send. I'd always choose not to send this information. It's up to you. And then you have a warranty guide here that you can read through. And when you're done, tap agree. 
and then select agree to the terms and service. And that is it. You are now able to access your Apple TV and all the apps within it. I would strongly recommend that you go through a couple of the settings here. For starters here, you have finish home setup. You can go through a bunch of these settings here to connect Bluetooth devices and just to sort of customize it to the way you want. And then you want to go through the app store here and start downloading applications that better fit what you want to do with this Apple TV. You can download YouTube, Netflix, all kinds of video streaming applications and really take advantage of the Apple TV. And if you're into gaming, this is a great device for gaming as well. I do have videos on how to set up pretty much everything with the Apple TV. So if you wanna connect headphones or you wanna use a controller like a PlayStation 5 controller and play games with your Apple TV, you can do so. The link to the full Apple TV series is in the description. So definitely check that out if you're interested. And as always, if this video helped you out, hit that like button and subscribe for more videos like this one right here. Hit the bell notification box so you're notified when those videos are posted. And as always, I will see you in the next one.